todos los santos y los ángeles se inclinan delante de tu trono todos los ancianos pusieron sus coronas ahí delante del cordero y can cantan tú eres digno de todo eres digno de todo de todas las cosas tú eres sobre todas las cosas tú mereces la gloria todos los santos y ángeles se inclinan delante de tu trono ancianos se positan sus coronas delante del Cordero de Dios y cantan tú eres digno de todo tú eres digno de todo Todas las cosas, tú mereces toda la gloria. Levantamos nuestra voz a ti, Señor, tú mereces todo. Tú eres digno de todo. Todas las cosas que tú eres las cosas que hay tú mereces toda la gloria día y noche noche y día el incienso sube y el incienso suba Día y noche, noche y día, deja que el incienso suba. Mereces toda la gloria. Sea así, esperemos en el Señor. 
y en la medida en que tú repites esas palabras, puedes usar tus propias palabras también. Día y noche, hay alabanza a ti, Señor. Eso es lo que sucede ahorita mismo en los cielos. Y tú, Jesús, que estás sentado en el trono, tú eres digno de toda la alabanza. Is being surrounded by angels and elders and living creatures, and they are singing, "Worthy is the Lord, holy, 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 is the Lord God Almighty, who was and who is and who is to come." And so, my friends in this room, let's join with heaven right now. Let's not miss a moment of giving the Lord what He is worthy to receive. Because, my friends, this is a glimpse of what we will be doing for all of eternity. And so, Lord, we don't want to miss it this morning. We don't want to miss the glimpse. Open our eyes to see You rightly, Lord. Give us the words to sing it out. Lift our faith to let it rise this morning. Digno de todo, Señor. Te pedimos toda la alabanza. Este cielo se suba. Se levante voz a ti, Señor. todo en tu presencia yo solo quiero estar sentado aquí a tus pies sido tomado un momento santo en este momento santo y no me quiero ir no estoy aquí para bendiciones Jesús, tú no me debes nada. Más que nada, lo que yo quiero hacer, yo solo a ti te necesito. Siento. He llegado yo a veces con una agenda, lo siento, he olvidado que tú eres más que suficiente. Toma de regreso donde comenzamos y va a abrir mi corazón a ti. Sigo cautivado en tu presencia. Solo quiero sentarme aquí a tus pies, Señor. Es 
sido cautivado en este momento santo no me quiero ir nunca estoy aquí para bendiciones Necesito a ti, Señor. Nada más. These core experiences we believe are essential again to us walking in deep relationship and communication and enjoyment with our God. And so he kicked us off with uh, a listening to the Lord, right? Listening to the Lord. Any, any relationship, any, any key to any good relationship is communication. And so Brian talked about this with the Lord, so if you missed that sermon, I want you to go back and listen to it. Señor. And today we're going to talk about the second of our core experiences, the second of four. Si quieren. But before we do that, I want to go back to our statement. Pero hay otros pasos there's a word también. in there Pero that is volver, probably easy for us to just read and gloss over. Afirmación. It's that word together. Hay que Other juntos. people are essential in Los our demás path son of enjoying and following Jesus. So much so that when we talk about the four core experiences, you're going to see that the other people are a big part of that. Let's go ahead and put that graphic up. So you saw this again last week. These are the four core experiences. And again, this is something that we're going to talk about a whole bunch, and we do talk about it a lot. So it bears again just repeating so that we really get this uh, into our minds. And the way I kind of remember it is there's two things you can look at here. There are two times that we're listening. That's those ear graphic. And there's two talking. That's the mouth speaking graphic. Hablar con los But you'll demás. notice the middle ones are, are the vertical ones. This is our vertical so relationship, us vertically with the Lord, right? And Brian talked about Señor how we need to listen to the Lord, but in any communication, it's two-way, right? There's also talking with the Lord, our Hay prayer life. 
lot but not only that, there's a, a horizontal aspect. So on the horizontal, you have the listening to the Lord for loving others. And that's the one we're going to focus on today. Listening to the Lord for loving others. We're going to talk about why, what it means to listen to the Lord for loving others. Why that we think it's so important Porque that we do this. Importante hacer and we're also going to give you some practical starting points for actually listening to the Lord for loving others. But before I jump in again, I really think I want to go back to that word together. Como seguir al Señor together is such an easy word in our current cultural context to not understand it the way maybe Jesus understood it. And so we want to think seriously about that word cultura. together. To think seriously about something is to think, to think biblically about it. So Creo I want to start off tenemos, looking at a scripture that we looked at last week is the table setting that Brian talked about, Revelation 3.20, and then we're going to go to John 13, like I mentioned de, earlier. Um, Let's just read that verse again. Behold, he says, this is Jesus talking to the church. De la que I stand at the door Brian. and knock, and if anyone hears my voice uh, and opens 3, the door, I will come into him and eat with yo estoy him a la and eat llamo, with si me. It's a beautiful puerta, picture. Entraré a él y con I, él y él conmigo. Our imagination can, can go to so many profane ways, but this is a beautiful place for our imagination to go. Imagination puede ver por muchos I look lados at this verse, I, I see the pero eagerness. Que imagen of linda. Jesus to want to meet with me. Él I don't know what kind of relationships you've had in life. A, a lot of times it may feel like we're the one vida. that's pursuing a lot. Veces right, the other person es, may seem no distant so, or yo el que percibo And while we're eager, maybe that's not always been matched. And so sometimes y we have that mindset and we transpose that on to Jesus, that he's that same way, like he's, he's a distant God, a veces, or he's an aloof God. Creemos que he's knocking el here, Señor right? Like he, es, can, you, can we uh, get that for a second? Like, you know how out of our league Jesus is? Que llama la and he wants that relationship. Have you ever had a friendship, or maybe you dated somebody, or in my case, you married somebody who was so si out of your league? Abram, Don't tell Brittany that, but it's true. Like, I'm scared to take pictures with her because I'm afraid she'll es look at him later and be like, si, oh, wait a minute, uh, this isn't right. Como con, I could have done way better. Con right? um, like, Jesus is out of our league, and yet still he is knocking at the door, church. What a profound thing de this is to para know about our God. He wants in, and where does he want in in this picture? Dice, he wants to come into uy, your house. Que, he wants que to come into the place of intimacy. Who sits at your dinner table? It's your family. Pero quién it's the se people that you are close to or want to be close to. You're inviting Son them in. And Jesus is like, I want to be in that place. La multitud de veces. And I think of the table. It's a ta it's a fun place, right? It's a table. It's a place of enjoyment. It's a place of fellowship. <coughs> it's a place that our family divertido. has a good time. When we talk about things. And we enjoy um, food. It's a it's a pleasurable la experience. Jesus wants in. Wants es, us to enjoy him. Pasar tiempo juntos en familia y él Now, when I, when I think about that, that and I think about my prayer life, sometimes my prayer uh, life is not, en esto, not that picture. Right? It's me doing the most, en, most of the talking. And so Brian was honing us in on this picture because we should be doing a lot of listening too. We want to do both, right? It's a, a, it's a relationship. Yo el que habla like todo if el Jesus came to your house si physically Jesucristo tonight and actually knocked on the door and you let him in and you had dinner with him and you told me, hey, get you never guess who came over for dinner last night, Matt. Y, y I'd be like, who? Dices, and you're like, uh, Jesus Matt, came over for dinner. I would be like, are you kidding? That's amazing. What, what did he say? Wouldn't it be weird if we said, ah, he didn't really get a chance to talk. I thought I did most of the talking. In tu I'd be like, wait, you had Jesus over and you didn't want to hear what he had to say. But that kind of describes no our prayer life sometimes. Right? So listening to the Lord, uh, if we really want to walk in relationship and enjoy and follow him, such a... Such a key thing. Es la alegría What a great picture that table is. But now I want to take us to another table. <coughs> this is in John 13. This is another sweet place for us to go. Juan this is Jesus 3. having a Passover meal with his disciples. Um, And we're not like, we, we, you know, we celebrate Easter. Like we don't maybe get the Passover meal. It's like that's a big meal. That's like the Thanksgiving of meals for them. Y 
fue una and you get the picture of the disciples there, they're gathered, and their attention ellos. at this table, every single one of them, their attention is on Jesus. This is some serious y listening to the Lord moment for them. Right? Because it's Jesucristo the last meal that they're going to have. So you can picture in your head right now, the disciples gathered, right? they're having Señor. dinner with Jesus, their attention is on him, and they're listening. And I, I, I think that this is how, when we picture that Fue together line, right, we, we enjoy and follow Jesus together, y maybe this is the, the picture that we get. Juntos y right? A group of people who are together because they're in the same room, right? Y Proximity, they're together. And together, in the sense también, that they all have an affection for the same thing, the man at the center of the table. Común, when you think about it that way, it's, it's not a lot different from this mesa, room right now. Right? We're together. Estamos we're in the juntos, same room, proximity-wise, that we're, we're together, sala, and most of us share the same affection, right, for Jesus. And we love him. But lo Jesus amamos. has something that more than just a meal. Right? Jesus has something more than just a meal. Right? Jesus has something more than just a meal. Right? Jesus has something more than just a meal. Right? Jesus has something more than just a meal. Right? Jesus has something more than just a meal. Right? Jesus has something more than just a meal. Right? Jesus has something more than just a meal. Right? Jesus has something more than just a meal. Right? Jesus has something more than just a meal. Right? Jesus has something more than just a meal. Right? Jesus has something more than just a meal. Right? Jesus has something more than just a towel around his waist and he begins to each one individually wash their feet. From Jesus' perspective, this is an act of great humility and it's a display of profound servanthood. But you can imagine from the disciples' perspective as well, right? I mean, think about somebody washing your feet. It yeah, feels very vulnerable, doesn't it? It feels very, it feels definitely feels like a personal humilde. thing. Y muy so he washes each one of their feet, and then the Bible says this in verse 12. A cada uno John 13, sus verse 12. Pies. And when he washed their feet, he put on his outer garments, and he resumed his place. So y he gets to his back to his seat 12, at the table. Entonces, he says to them, de you understand what I've done to you. You call me teacher les dijo, and Lord, lo que and you are right. So I Vosotros am. If I then, your Lord and your teacher, have razón, washed your feet, you also ought to wash pues si one another's feet. For I have given you an example that you also should catch this language. Lavar los pies you should a do otros, just as que os he dado done. ejemplo para que como so yo os he done, hecho we'll vosotros again. también hagáis so he is reframing in this moment their understanding Entonces of how they are to relate to one another otro marco and i would say he's reframing in that moment our understanding as we look around this room mismos, of how we are to relate to one another it's not just Nosotros the people who have common affection. It's not just the people who have to be in the same room because this is the church in our part of town. And when, when Jesus says together, he means something different. He wants us to, Cuando yes, Jesucristo look at him at the table, but also juntos, we need to look across the table at those distinto. that are there. Necesitamos and this is such an important thing that Jesus repeats himself again a little bit further en, down. If you look down nosotros, the page to verse 34, he says to his disciples, a new commandment. Commandment. This is not a suggestion. Doy, que os disciples, los maybe when you thought that I said, hey, you should do like I'm doing, it was like no up for, yeah, maybe un, I will, maybe I don't. No, I want you to know how serious I take this. I'm saying it is a commandment, a new commandment I give to you, that you love un one another, and here's that language again, just as I have loved you, you yo also are to love Así también os améis los this unos a los otros. We don't just do y por eso, to the Lord, but we also no solamente escuchamos al Señor, pero escuchamos al Señor para amar to me, a los demás. Quiero oír to lo que me quiere decir, pero tengo una vocación shift, right? a escuchar lo like, que quiere um, comunicarte he's taking us from, a ti también. You, know, you picture like 281 driving around, there's several lanes to it, right? These cars are all sort of going in the same direction, but they each have their own individual I, lanes. Sometimes we're like, hey, we're at the table, but I've got my lane to Jesus, right? I see Jesus, and you're doing the same thing next to me, but there's really no crossover. Y, Jesus is saying, no, uh, now we're going to take those separate lanes, and we're going to start to mix them and tie uh, them all together. En, en, de mi manera. And when I hear that, and maybe when, when I can imagine maybe some of the things the disciples thought when Jesus was doing such a massive reframing, maybe some of you in the same room have the same thought, do we have to, God? 
volvamos a pensar we have to do it that nuevo. way Jesus like I'm, I'm good with you and can, can we just keep it a me manera. and you thing Jesus Quiero, a veces Besides, decimos, like when you start messing queremos, with other people, it can get messy. No, no when you start to inter, intertwine my dos, lane Señor, with their lane, it also no seems a little bit inefficient. En like, hey, I'm down for you telling me things ways you love me, but can't you just tell me? Why would you tell no somebody else to tell me? Más lo que quieres That's messy, potentially, and kind of inefficient. Sin and we just eliminate the middleman, and you just always tell me directly. You know what? If Jesus was starting an organization that prized ease and efficiency, conmigo, he is doing it wrong. Pero but no he is not starting an organization. You know what he's starting? He is starting a family. El, el and a family does not prize Se ease está lanzando, and efficiency. Está a family prizes unity and love. Y and so suddenly, when I think of it out of organization, we got this Western no idea of church as an organization, but we're family. And so he's winding us together, Nuestra and it's important to him. Nos he calls himself Father for a reason. A cada uno de you know, when I, nos when llama, I sit at our table with my family, el padre mom de la and dad, familia. we love to encourage our children. We love to bless Nosotros them. We love to speak padre, identity over them. We love to teach them. We have to correct nos them. We do all these things. Corregirles. I do it as a, a loving father, but you know what also makes my heart just really set on fire with joy is when I see our daughters see what we're doing and they join in with their sibling across the table. Pero I never want to be like, oh, no, 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 I'm supposed to do the blessing here. I'm like, yeah, jump in, Rosie, get in on this. This is great. And it really excites me as a father. How much more our Heavenly Father when he sees us doing that for one another. He calls us to love, he calls us to unity, and he will have it in his church. And so, if that wasn't enough to get us to want to do it, remember, it's in joy and follow. He says it's a command. Es un and I will wager that even if you don't want to do it, but you're reluctantly al, al obedient, Señor, just because you have to be obedient, you will find yourself enjoying this before you know it because um, you're made for it. You're made to be a son and a daughter. You're made to be a brother manera, and a sister. And so the question isn't, should we do it? The question really is, how do we do it? How do we do this at Crossbridge? Como Remember what Jesus said. La I want you to do it Jesucristo just as you dijo, have seen me do it. Dijo, well, how did Jesus love his brothers in that room? Because right? he is a son too, right? He's the firstborn son. He's saying, follow my example as a sibling. Follow my example as a brother. Well, there's almost too many ways to count, right? How did Jesus love his brothers, right? He protected them. He taught them. He served them. He sacrificed for them. He healed for them. I mean, just read the Gospels. You can make a list. And even in the Gospels say, we couldn't even record all the ways he loved us. And so when we look at that, like, how am I supposed to, like, do I just pick one of those and try to love somebody across the room in that same way? Well, in all those countless ways, there's actually a sort of summary statement that Jesus gives us earlier in the book of John. Señor, Let's read from John 5, y verse 19. En Juan I love this verse. Truly, truly, I say to you, Dijo, the son, por eso Jesús that word, the son can do nothing of his en own verdad, work. En verdad, os digo que el hijo no puede hacer nada por su cuenta, sino lo que ve son, hacer is, al padre. He's like, I only, Porque todo lo que I hace el padre, eso también hace el hijo de igual manera. Now you guys follow my example. He uses y a different sense. He's using the word see, but we're using the word listen, but Jesucristo it's the same exact comment, the same exact concept. There's a reason we don't call this core experience loving others. El ejemplo, el ejemplo There's a reason we call it listening to the Lord for loving others, right? We want to follow Jesus' example and, and vertically, again, we're in this relationship with the Lord. We're listening to him. We're engaging en him in intimacy. We've, we've heard him knocking. We've, we've, we've sat down at the table with him. La puerta. And from y no that, sé, more of that vertical place, it starts to move horizontally when we see what he is doing or we hear what he is doing. Uh, to put it another way, 
con Jesus los asked, demás. Is the greatest commandment? He said, Jesucristo it's to nos, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength. Es, and then he says, el, el love your neighbor as yourself. Más and they were probably like, hey, we asked for one commandment. We asked for the greatest one. You gave us two. And he's like, they're so demás. inseparable. Right? Es lo One necessarily no leads to the other. And I can't give you the half version. He's like, I got to give you the whole version. You love your neighbor <coughs> as necesitan amar al prójimo so como te, te amas a ti mismo. So how does this actually look at Let me give you some starting points for ways we can go about doing this. Let me first just, I think it's helpful for us to Creo que um, ayuda have mucho a few safeguards in place. Sometimes it could be messy when we start to interact reglas. with each other. My brokenness a veces, interacts with your brokenness. That's why freedom is such an important thing for us all to go after. Te afecta a ti. But I would just encourage us all this week sometime, would you read 1 Corinthians 13? It's the, it's the love chapter, right? Necesitan the durante esta semana, por favor, lean. It's actually at, primer, in the Bible, la primera between epístola the gifts of the Spirit, de Corintens, like how we actually use uh, our gifts to bless 13. and edify the church. And right in the middle of that, <coughs> it talks about love. Y so justo if I'm going to listen to the Lord for loving you, and then I, I think I'm supposed to do something, Corintios, is it patience? Capítulo 13. Uh, es it, el capítulo del amor y necesitamos it, does it envy preguntarnos a nosotros mismos es not que hay, hay envidia en esto está Does it bear um, all things because love bears all things? And so if I'm ever wondering, hey, should I share this? Or is this how the Lord really wants me to love somebody else? You can just go to that chapter and read that and say, yeah, this, this job is probably from the Lord. El, uh, and so we can even look at the, the next chapter where it talks about, is it strengthening? Is it comforting? Is it encouraging? Nos da If it's those things, then I think it's it's a green light, a way that the Lord Alegría is saying, yeah, you can love your brother or your sister that way. Pueden, pueden amar a sus But again, how does it play out? And these manera. aren't formulas, because this is a relationship we're talking juega, about. These are just maybe starting juego, points for you. So in my personal Bridge, time with the Lord, when I'm by myself with the Lord, loving him, solo, I make sure that there's time also, I'm Lord, like, hey, tell me about your people. Tomo el tiempo. Para que me hable someone, él my sobre su pueblo, like, sobre well mis prójimos. Ideas, ¿Cómo puedo uh, amar a so mi I familia de mejor manera? Tengo mis propias ideas, pero soy todos ruidos para in que me indique cómo lo deberías, so the we're lo debería hacer hoy. The, the things that we've got going on this week that are going to be difficult. It's the, it's the prayer en request mi, time. Uh, grupo de so before we want to just jump in and start praying, a veces we want to just take some time to listen. Orar, pero hey Lord, primero I have some advice I'd like to give Let me hear what you have to say. Is there something I can do to love my brother well this week? Is there something I need to do, some way I need to serve him? Is there a word of encouragement pendiente. that I might have for them? And Las let me tell you, when you walk in that, Rather than just whatever I would have just said in the spur of the Porque moment, it carries so much more impact. Orar en el momento, in life group, the way this often looks, in, I'm in the Acres impacto, life group, and, and one of the things that we si often do during our worship time, again, we're vertically getting with the Lord, we're worshiping Him, we're getting relational alabanza, with Him, and then in those moments, comunicar. some of us times we take a moment to say, hey, is there something that I can encourage my brother or sister with? And then you, during worship, Pero you, a veces you see people walking across the room to begin to pueden ver cómo las personas uh, uh, se aproximan a otros like para comunicarles uh, que les ha dicho el Señor. Whether you're the or you're the uh, one doing the praying, you're blessed. La palabra que le dirige can look like el Señor a, a esto, este like hermano o esta hermana. Um, But the million different things starts sala with para us not picking and choosing lo, from a buffet uh, line of ways to love, but ella, asking the Lord, hey, what do you want to pick Señor, And he is faithful que que to haga. do that. Y es fiel. So let's actually do some of that right hacerlo now. Correctamente con nosotros. ask you guys to just close your y eyes. Entonces, hagámoslo en este momento. Cierren las hojas, And would you just favor? think about that table or maybe the Lord knocking at the door of your house right now? 
And all this, all that we tengan all that en that la means, mente la imagen de la mesa all that says about Jesus. en tu casa. And would you just begin to worship him in y your heart and thank him for being the, the God that's so far out of our league. A agradecerle al Señor que es el Dios que promete ser. God, we love you. Thank you for who you are. Te amamos, Señor. Gracias por quien eres. And when we start doing that, what's happening Cuando is, again, he esto, deserves the praise. But when I start to think about him, Pero I just start to open up relations with him. Me abro en when con you él. open up relationally to somebody, you just find that your words become much more vulnerable, much more true. Y con and él, they're just intimate, so much mis more se vuelven más vulnerables. Y mucho más sinceras. Just enjoy you, Jesus. Help us to enjoy you, en ti, Señor. In the moment, we're going to ask him to just Dentro de poco vamos a pedirle que nos revele lo que quiere con nosotros. Pero Primero tenemos un paso picture, the the de libertad. Esta imagen de Jesucristo lavando los pies a los demás. Yo puedo imaginarme a mí lavando los pies a los demás. Pero a ser honesto, fue un poco distinto like, yeah, I'll, I'll give words difícil of encouragement. Yeah, I'll, I'll serve, imaginarme I'll bring a que meal. me laven los pies But when somebody offers to do that to me a I'm like no no I'm good I'm good Si alguien me ofrece lava, lavar los pies yo digo no está bien Independence Esta in este espíritu de independencia so say, Lord, I am not created to be Necesitamos independent Decirle al Señor, no me has creado por ser independiente. Quiero que me hagas dependiente a ti y a mi familia. Quiero servir. Necesito ayuda en esto de vez en cuando, Señor. The Lord's not going to let us skip this step, church. He's no not going to let us go on being the superhero that's always serving. Hacer este like, paso. We, we're not that. I know I'm not that, Jesus. Ad, hay que admitir, admitir que así somos. So, Lord, help me to be este, open to being loved este alma by my family. De Quiero abrirme a tu amor a través de mi familia. Now, Lord, we ask, would you put ahora, someone Señor, te pedimos on my heart right now that you want me to love either today or this week a alguien en la mente just give him a moment para que oro por él o por ella have expected that person Quizás and maybe you didn't expect that person not, surely not that guy esperabas a esta persona 
o quizás te dices, no esperaba. So now, Lord, we listen to you. This ah, is really este. like, how oh, do you want me to love them this week? Pero pedimos en este momento cómo quieres we que just resist our mind, like we want our mind to oh, be involved in the process, but it starts with the interaction of our spirit and the Lord. Empieza con la interacción that, entre el Señor y nosotros, pero muéstrame, Señor, lo que tengo que hacer o decir. Y dame las fuerzas para hacerlo y la voluntad para seguir esto. find yourself losing focus just that it happens to all of us just mm. refocus Lord I give a you all of my attention we're not trying to clear our mind this isn't new ageism we're actually filling our Señor, mind with the favor, vision of Jesus la mente de la imagen de Jesús. Lord I look to you I love you Entre you just a few more mesa. moments and then Kirk's going to come up Te amamos, Lord, Señor. Lord, once again show us Muéstranos how to love well como amar bien a tus hijos en esta semana, Señor.